Welcome back to Strength for Today for October 2nd. Showers of power. Let's look at Acts 1 8. Acts 1 8 says, <laughs> But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And I've got this little picture over here that I love. It says, start near home, and it starts with a little circle, and it goes out further and further. We are supposed to start close to home and expand our reach out. Showers of power. Jesus was crucified in Jerusalem during Passover, the memorial celebration of God's redemption of the Hebrew slaves from their bondage in Egypt. Fifty days after Passover was the Feast of Pentecost, the celebration of the grain harvest. At that time, Jerusalem was filled with Jews from the Mediterranean region who gathered for these two feasts. Jewish tradition holds that Moses received the Ten Commandments from God on Mount Sinai fifty days after the original Passover. The signs and wonders that accompanied that event and the sending of the Holy Spirit in Jerusalem, wind and fire, would have drawn an immediate parallel in astute Jewish minds. But in contrast to the giving of the law, the gift of Pentecost in Jerusalem was the Holy Spirit, the seal of God on all who believed, Ephesians 1, 13 and 14, and the power of the indwelling of Christ. Thank God today you have been sealed in Christ by the Holy Spirit and that you have His power in you to overcome the world. And just think about it. The disciples were sad, right? Because Jesus was dead and then he, he was alive. He was, they were excited about that. But then he ascended into heaven and he was gone again. So they were just like, now what are we going to do? And so then the Holy Spirit came upon them. What a great gift. I mean, Jesus could only be on earth because he was fully man and still fully God, but fully man. He could only kind of be with certain people at a certain amount of time. But now the Holy Spirit can indwell all of us all of us all the way around the world can all be filled with the Holy Spirit at the same time. What a perfect gift. I mean, if that isn't like the perfect gift, I don't know what else is. So I hope today that you remember that you are filled with the Holy Spirit. If you have said yes to Jesus and you believe in him for salvation, the Holy Spirit comes to live in you and what power you have. And I know the Holy Spirit gives me wisdom. A lot of times I'll be talking to people and I'm like, I'm not sure maybe what to say. And all of a sudden I'll get something. The Holy Spirit will reveal that to you. And especially if you read a lot of scripture and you start memorizing verses, when you need it, that Holy Spirit just takes your memory and just kind of jogs it and gives you the right words to say. So the Holy Spirit gives you comfort and peace and power and wisdom. I mean, everything we need. So what a great gift. I mean, that was just so smart of God, right? He sent his son to be with the people, but when he pulled his son away, he sent the Holy Spirit to be with every single person. God is so awesome. I love it. So hope you have a good day today knowing that you are filled with the Holy Spirit and you have power, peace, and wisdom at your disposal. Use those gifts and I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own copy of Strength for Today by Dr. David Jeremiah by going to davidjeremiah.org or calling Turning Point at 877-998-0222. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you lean on God's strength and have a fantabulous day.